Hey, 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 everybody. This is Bradley of Bradley Teaches. Once again, Vlogmas 2020. And I want to keep showing you guys some quick and easy techniques to enhance your live streams and other videos making graphics and animations with Keynote. Today is no different. Today, I'm going to show you a very quick and easy dynamic overlay animation. So let's jump into Keynote. All right, new presentation. Select all the pieces by dragging, delete, and let's go ahead. Let's turn this off for now. Let's go ahead and make this a no fill slide. All right, knock this down a little bit. So essentially, all you really need is two pieces, right? You need a solid piece, right? for your overlay. But what we're going to do first is we're going to build what our overlay will look like when it's done. So we have the full graphic here, full shape, shape. Let's do a curved edge on this one. All right. So now we're going to build our window. Let's say it's roughly like that. So we're still kind of just in that basic overlay kind of thing, right? Like we did day one. All right. Select both of those pieces, go to format, shapes and lines, subtract shapes. Now I have my overlay that I'm going to end with, right? So now I'm going to fill this with an image because I think when it's filled with an image, it just kind of has a better effect. I'm going to drag in one of my existing images. All right. So now I have that. So let me go to object list so you can see everything that's going on. So this is my overlay here, right? So I'm going to do another shape. And I'm going to make it fill the screen. And I'm going to fill it with the same image that my overlay was filled with, right? So now I'm going to put my overlay on the top. And I have my full image behind it. So now with my full image selected, I'm going to go to animate, build out, and I'm going to pick like an effect I want to use, right? And I'm going to use crumble and I'm going to preview it. All right. So this looks like all the inner pieces are breaking away to reveal my overlay, right? I'm going to have it go top to bottom. Oh, this has random as an effect. Okay, whatever. All right, so we have random. And it just do whatever it's going to do. So it's a crumble effect. And let's play it again. Right? So my overlay is actually on top. My solid graphic is behind that. And then the solid graphic breaks away to show an overlay. So for what purpose would you do this, right? This could be an intro to your videos. So say for instance, I'm going to say caps lock on that. Uh, welcome to my show. Right. And you can have a logo here, whatever you want, go to format and we'll make that white. Let's kick that up. And Impact, kick it up some more, put a drop shadow on it and do that real quick too. All right, so that's what we have it like that, right? So welcome to my show, put your logo, all the kind of stuff on there too. So this is what I want to do, right? I'm going to drag it down here to that other rectangle, uh, other fill of my screen rectangle. So this is a welcome to my show. Today's show is going to be so great, blah, blah, blah. And you could be talking about it while this is in front of you. Then it breaks away. Then you're there. So I'm going to select both of these, my text and my rectangle. And I'm going to group them because I want all that stuff to break away at the same time. So now I have to go back and add that animation to the group instead. So animate, build out and do crumble again. All right. So now it all breaks away. So what I want to do is go to build order now. And when I want that to happen, 
is after my video starts and let's go for the sake of just this tutorial let's go five seconds right so now I upload this I play this overlay and after five seconds it breaks away and I'm on screen so we're gonna go to file now we're done so let's go to file export movie zero zero as usual in these two spots go to next slide build after next slide Apple ProRes 4444 next and we'll call this dynamic all right save it to the desktop all right so now we go back to my main file again and my show has started I'm talking welcome to my show bye 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 and I am Bradley Vinson welcome to my show thank y'all for coming and instead I'm gonna say I am Bradley Vinson Alana's pawpaw be blessed be free thank y'all for coming out join me tomorrow for another vlogmas where I'm gonna show you another cool quick easy tip to do animations and graphics with keynote for your live streams be good to yourselves be good to each other see y'all soon Bye -bye.